Hey guys, what's going on? Anthony Grillo checking in with you. Another episode of D's Lutz. And today we have the GH4 with the Sigma 18 and 35 Metabones Speed Booster. And why do you ask? Because I bought the GH4 LUT package from James Miller. So I figured I would test it out today uh, doing a little filming of the 1974 beautiful blue Stingray with the front nose falling off. And we shall proceed by doing a, a three serial nodes by pressing Alt S on your Mac or in your nodes adding serial node. Let us add our 3D LUT from the package called uh, GH4 Cinema D, as in David, not Cinema V as in Victor. I did shoot this in Cinema D. And we're going to use the faded 33 look which is that look right there. We're going to serial node number one. We'll go into our primaries and pull down on our shadows to something right about there. We'll pull up on our gamma today. Not too much of our gamma. Um, let's raise the whole gain and see how that looks. That looks pretty nice. A little saturation, what do you guys think? A little saturation, not so bad, not so bad. Let's go into serial node number two. And we'll do go our traditional uh, custom curves. Make sure we're on gang that we are. And let's do our standard reverse S curve, which is by you know dragging down at the top and at the bottom raising it here, or maybe a little bit down there like that. Uh, we can do a small S curve with our red curve. We can bring down our blue channel and see what that does. That makes it look. Awfully nice, and don't forget, guys. Down here, you have these uh, intensity 100, intensity 100. You can, you can, you can use this and scale it down as well. So that's something that you can play around with as you're dialing in your flavor to taste. And we'll go into serial node number three. Now we'll sharpen it up. Bring it down to a 45-ish, if you will. Um, let's do something different. Let's add our Lumen saturation curve at the end. Sometimes we add it before, sometimes we add it at the end, and we'll see how nice this makes our uh, GH4 LUT look. Play it around, we'll dial it into here, right about there. Now remember, guys, this is all flavored to taste. There isn't one set, you know, method that's going to solve all the. Uh, the 3D LUT color grading issue. So let's let this play out and see what we have. And as of always, DaVinci plays out at a tremendously slow, slow, slow pace. I mean, it's, act it's actually playing right now. And you can see how slow it is. But this will give you a general overall, uh, if it's a LUT that you like, um, it's only the first one I've played around with. The love package just came out, so I really haven't had an opportunity to to do that much with them. Like I said to um, like I said to you, the car's dirty. Yes, I, I, that's terrible. Um, I should clean it. So anyway, going back to what I was saying, that we should be able to you know really dive into this GH4 LUT package as as I begin to use the GH4 again, as opposed to the Black Magic Pocket Cinema camera. So I just want to give you guys this wide sweeping cinematic view of the the stingray here which is the 1974 stingray and then we'll finish up and let you guys move on with your day so if in case you were wondering if the gh4 package was worth it uh for the price um like i said i don't, I don't get paid to do any of this stuff there's no affiliate link back to james miller's uh site for mine i just good lutz uh at really good prices that do a really really good job so that is the final image that i'm going to leave it at with you guys for now so you guys can decide on your own i'll do a quick before and after and we'll get you out of here in uh under that five minute span so let's exit the full frame mode by command f on your mac and we'll turn everything off and then we'll make it big for you guys just so you guys can see so that was straight out of the gh4 which is the cinema d and then we turned on all our we'll turn on all our serial nodes now and yeah get you guys out of here just a bit, little over five minutes 
All right, guys, cool. So thanks so much for watching. I appreciate the, all the subscribers, and we continue the LUT of the day. Like I said, we have a ton ton of LUTs that I still have to get to, uh, but this is just the first of the GH4 LUT package. Okay, guys, thanks so much for watching. I will speak to you all in the future. Thanks so much again for your time, and have a great day.